So yo guys, in today's video, we've got another ace grading return just landed from the USA. We've got some USA content coming. They should be live before this one. So check out our USA uh, LA vlogs, guys. And yeah, we're back and right back into it with an ace grading return. And guys, you already know, if you want to grade with ace grading, use the code VIV. I get you 5% off. It supports the channel. helps me do these returns. And in today's return, is going to be a Japanese promo return, guys. So it's going to be like Japanese promo cards, very low-key ones not too many i've never seen people have many of these cards or ever show these cards off and these some i love collecting this sort of stuff and a lot of this is not that expensive either so maybe it inspires you to pick up some of the cards you see today uh, and show you how they look with the ace label and uh color match label and the ace slab so yeah big shout out to ace grading best in the uk you guys already know but let's get into this let's open this up let's see what we can get yo i'm not even sure how many is in here maybe like 40 50 cards odd Oh, you can quickly count if you want to. But yeah, we do have some One Piece. One, two. Oh, red back. Three One Piece and the rest will be the Japanese promo. But moving that to the side, let's see what we got. And yeah, obviously I love grading my One Piece collection. We've done a whole One Piece video with Ace Grading already. Showing you my full collection and anything I've picked up since I've been sending. And I've got a couple more still to send. But there we go. We've got the Zara from OP05. I think we packed this in a video on the channel. Uh, maybe the Profit and Loss video. But yeah, Gem Mint 10. You know the One Piece is going to be easy 10, guys. So let's go. Oh, Sabo, yo, OP04. This is when we had so many boxes of OP04. Oh, that was crazy. Like, they were sitting for till December, January. And obviously, now anything One Piece kind of selling out. But Gem Mint 10 again. So, obviously, standard with these. And then we've got the red backs. It's going to be our Rebecca from OP04 as well. Gem Mint 10. I actually pulled this on stream. We were like, no one was buying them. We had packs under retail. And I was like, yo, guys, buy these. And I opened one and I pulled that. Let me know if you was in the stream where I pulled that. I pulled one other card as well. I can't remember, but yeah, this one was sick to pull just out one pack, just showing you guys. But yeah, let's go, let's go. That's a little bit of One Piece there. Obviously, One Piece going crazy right now. You know, I always kind of send that in the back of some submissions when I got a few cards because they're really nice. But oh, some other cards we sent on the back. This is not part of today's submission, but I thought let's get this graded. This is the Simsala EX, obviously, Alakazam EX from 151 German in a nine. So yeah, I did predict that would be a nine century. And edges weren't the best but i thought let's get that encapsulated because it's pretty cool we packed this in our german shopping video when we went to berlin not long ago so boom and are we going to get into the regular stuff no okay we have some other stuff as well guys we've got some new releases i had to add it to the back of it just so we have some of these new cards encapsulating great let's hope for i was gonna say we need this in a 10 guys oh my god mint nine okay unfortunately mint nine obviously with the a screen report good thing about ace unlike other grading companies you can just look up and see why it got that grade which is always perfect and always awesome because you always be like when i grade psa when i get nine i'm like oh why did you get a nine if i haven't got a clue what's wrong with it uh but yeah we'll, we'll definitely look this one up and you guys would have seen what's that but i love the gorging fire obviously i'm a big nt fan so love that so let's go so oh i had to grab this gem mint 10 there we go big ass gang got there sar yeah morty's confidence from the wild force so boom, gotta love Wild Force, guys. People sleep in the sets with some beautiful cards there. Let me see if I grabbed anything else from these sets. Oh, I did grab the regular Gengar. Oh my goodness. An eight, yo. Okay, it's not looking good, guys. What's going on with Japanese right now? Hold on, let's wipe this. I'm sorry, it's misting up. Literally just landed back, so maybe I'm too warm. I still got that LA heat, but yo. Eight. Oh, uh, that'll probably just sell it or oh, mystery or something like that. But yeah, okay. Now we're getting to the promos, guys. But yeah, hopefully, like that, just a little bit extra stuff on top of what today's theme is, which is going to be the promos. So you get a little bit extra there. But yeah, we got the Chocolate. So this is one of the SA, uh, S Skull and Violet promos. Not many Skull and Violet ones here, but Championship Series 2023 and Gem Mint. So I like Chocolate, one of my favorite new gens. I had to grab that. I'm guessing I'm going to get prop pretty much a couple tens but oh this one i've had this since it came out and we've got that gem in 10 so yeah a lot of these don't have ace labels just because they're like regular promos i didn't request any ace labels i just kind of said it wasn't too bothered but yeah the color match looks amazing on both of these so far uh but yeah i love this dragon get is it get dragon in v promo i can't remember what it's called but it came with a pack was it alongside blue sky stream i can imagine um so yeah, there's a sword shield promo there so we'll make a pile there let's go let's go Oh, Snorlax. This one I actually got as well back when the Koro Koro 
uh, magazine in 2021, and this one got Gemini 10 as well. And talk about Cora Cora promos, I do have the new Pachirisu magazines on our store, Famous Girl Guys. So if you do want to grab them, really sick because it actually has two stamps. Then I love collecting these cards with these stamps on them, and this is why I'm doing the submission. These cards are not too expensive to get um and they are beautiful cards great cards and have the potential to go up if they are very undervalued at the moment etc um but yeah this one's a beautiful one this one's this one was stonky then came down right because it was what 2019 2020 uh you obviously had that hype but yeah rayquaza this is a rebel clash promo in english we've got a gem in 10 there but yeah had that since then you know rayquaza we had to get that and that is just an amazing card like in the space rayquaza Guys, don't sleep on this one. This is the third ever Sword and Shield promo as well. 2019, that's crazy. But, ooh, this one. I have a lot of these in the store. Gemin 10. So this is the extra Battle Day one. So it obviously, it's part of like the Battle Day promos. And it's a reprint of XY artwork. There's a few variations of this. I do have another one without the stamp, but I had to get this one with the Battle Day stamp there. So there's that. We'll put that in the Sword and Shield pile for now. I don't know what piles. If we get any nines, we'll see. Japanese coming through right now. It didn't come through earlier with the new hits. But, oh, this one actually got Ace label. We actually, I think someone requested it. Shout out to Weespo. I think Weespo requested it to Ace in my YouTube membership Discord. If you don't know, you can actually request Ace labels uh, in our Discord and they can uh, do them for you if it's obviously maybe worth doing. Uh, but yeah, he requested it in this. This one's actually deserves it. Uh, definitely, definitely deserves it. But Gemin 10, yes, I remember I had loads of these when they came out. I was actually selling these in the store. This is pretty cool. Pipple up. I think it was like. They're doing some Piplop campaign at the time and I had some Piplop shop merch and stuff and then I had this promo card as well. Can't even remember exactly, but yeah. Only thing I say about Ace is I don't like the Pokemon Center purchase campaign, store purchase campaign, store purchase campaign. Like I would like an explanation what it was. Like this is whatever or Piplop promo, whatever. Like not just a purchase promo campaign. Like oh, a little bit more in depth, you know? Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's go a little bit more about it. So let me see if there's any other big, big, better examples I can show you. But this is the Coco ticket giveaway in a Gemini 10. We take that. You know what? I haven't graded this card yet. I had a ton of these when they came out as well. Uh, released alongside the Zerud movie. So yo, I love that. And it's like a human on the card. That is crazy. That's pretty cool. I love it, especially in Pokemon. It's not a trainer card. It's a Pokemon. So Coco. Uh, so this one's a very underrated one. Not too expensive as well. So boom, yo, we got so many promos. I don't know what to do in the back. Oh, this EV's nice. Gemin 10, yo, let's go. This one again, had it for a while. I just picked out, because I, I, why I'm saying I had it for a while, because I did buy a lot of these promos. Like this one I bought for this video. A lot I have bought for the video, but some of them I just had in the binder or in the grading pile ready to grade one day. And I thought, let's do this video, keep it promo themed, stamp themed. Like look at all the cool stamps we have on these cards. Look at this one. This one I actually bought for the video, but a nine unfortunately but this one's a pretty low key one ev gx start battle participation promo see this is what i like i like that because then i know what it's about instead of the store purchase promo i don't know what campaign was going on etc but yeah let's go let's go but the cards the slabs look amazing guys so yeah we take that nine okay we've got a nine pile now we've got to make a nine pile let's go all right nine over there so yeah, unfortunately ev got a nine but it's a nice a first sun moon first sun moon yeah first sun moon so far we take that we do have some more sun and moon to come oh you can see already this is a beautiful sun and moon pokemon card friendly shop promo so you'll love this one really really sick i'm gonna gem in 10 i actually have one of these with cgc so now i can um cut, replace it with this ace 10 and that color match is working beautifully with this one so we'll take that all right oh this is the eevee section right now we've got the eevee friendly shop again in the gem in 10 another sun and moon promo so boom, let's go, let's go. So not a friendly shop. EV. So like people collect Pikachu primers, but this EV primers, not EV primers slap, you know. Like this one. Championship series 2020. Gem Min 10. Yo, look at that with the championship series logo. People sleeping on that one, guys. But yo, come on. Oh, this one's a lot. This one is one I've been wanting for a while. But I see something on the surface. So yeah, that's gonna be a nine. But I love the Johto starters, and obviously this is Look, store purchase campaign but this is obviously uh explosive impact promo so it could have been like explosive impact purchase promo or something like telling you what set it came from um that's so i've said this since the start like whenever they started and they put them on the promo cards they just write purchase campaign like i like a little bit more detail maybe you can't fit it all but still it looks sick ace label looks sick on that as well unfortunately it's a nine i could have cleaned it maybe i could clean that up 
Uh, but I'm not too bad. I'll just buy another one. Not too expensive. Like I said, these cards are not too expensive. But I reckon some of these could possibly be... Ooh, hopefully you didn't see that. Oh, I, I think some of these could possibly be, like, go up in value. Especially when you buy it low. Like, you're not in it for much. And they could... What? Go up. When they go up in value, it could be a bigger return. than buying an expensive card and it only goes up a bit, you know? If that makes sense, but obviously I'm buying these for my collection, grading these for my collection, so I've got two should bother about the value. Uh, but the Kangaskhan GX start the battle Kangaskhan. There we go, there we go. Gem in 10 on that. Beautiful Simon Gym promo there. Alright, let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. This Cresselia is sick. I don't know what set this is. That's the problem now. Now I can't remember what set this is or what promo this is. It just says talking purchase campaign. But I love the I'm not a huge Cresselia fan, but I just love these stamp promos and the Sun and Moon ones, especially. We've got the Gem Min 10. So you had to grab that in the collection. Those sort of stuff I think are low-key right now. This one's sick. So do whatever the Coro Coro. The Coro Coro sounds like quite small, but looks sick as well. Uh but mid nine. Ah, uh, mid nine on this one. Unfortunately, chat. But yo, we'll take it, we'll take it. Not too many nines, three nines. And all those tents, out of the purchase promos or the stamped promos. But this one, Terrakion. What came alongside Terrakion? What set was it? Is it remix about Sky Legends? Let me know what set that is. Uh, but we one of them 2019 tag team sets with Terrakion. Gemin 10. Yeah, I love the stamps, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below on these sort of cards. Like, again, it's just a bit of low-key sort of thing. Like, you can build a collection of these for not too much money. Like, like I like to say on the channel. I'll do a video where I purchase... Poncho Charizards, I've got a Mario Poncho video coming as well. Uh, and a few other uh, expensive videos like cards worth thousands. Then I've got cards worth five, ten pounds as well. Like I show you that you don't have to only collect expensive cards. You don't act, don't only have to like, I think a lot of people just flex the expensive cards. But here on this channel, guys, we show you that there's a lot more to collect, you know, and just collect what you like. But this Lugia bangs, this one's cheap as well. Gem in 10. So yeah, I had a PSA 10, I had to get one with Ace. The color match is amazing. And this is what I mean, guys. Look at that. If you only collect high end or expensive cards, you're going to miss out on stuff like this, man. Beautiful cards like that. Don't sleep, chat. Don't sleep. But yeah, let's move that pile in a bit. There we go. Come on. Oh, this is my favorite one. This is my, I think this is my favorite card out of the lot. So this is one of the earlier Sun, Sun and Moon sets. I can't remember. 2017. Is it the one Burning Shadow set? Is that the Rainbow Burning Shadows set? promo but i need this in the tent oh yes let's go when i found this one i was so gassed i was like no way how have i not got this one already so yeah glad that lucario um what you call it promo in a 10 so we take that we take that what a beauty guys what a beauty but celebi coro coro gem in 10 yo the color my ace these are the color match labels Working amazingly on all these cards, but yes, Coro Coro Comics there, love that one. Ooh, this is one, of my, this is my second favorite. This is just a well, Hollow Rare in Hidden Fates, of course, but in Japanese it was a promo, right? I don't think it had another variation with this artwork, just this one. So that's why I love it. Look at this, look at that stamp, beautiful. But Gem in Ten, there we take that chat, we take that. Let's go, guys. Look at all these awesome cards you can just pick up for a couple of quid um but oh this this one is nice this one might not be a couple quid but no more than like 20 30 maybe but jirachi championship series 2019 obviously team up pretty really artwork gem in 10 as well yo we are just getting bangers on bangers and again guys you don't have to only collect expensive cards you can pick these awesome cards up maybe in the future they'll go up or then an expensive card would go up in percentage terms but yeah if you're an investor type but yeah i just think these are really really undervalued is what i'm trying to say in Grab him while you can, guys. Grab him while you can. Okay, Meltan. I don't really like Meltan, but Championship Series promo. Kind of had to get it. Oh, a nine. Okay, a nine on nine there. You know what? We'll take in the collection. Luckily, he's not one I must have. Like, these, like, those last five, like, those are, like, some of my favorites right here. So, I'm glad we got those in ten. This one, at least we have a, a, one in the collection. And, obviously, we can chase back some of these in the future in tens, etc. So, yo, let's go. Let's go. Okay, with Volcano. I'm not a Volcano fan, but this is the Unbroken Bonds previous artwork. I love Unbroken Bonds. But, yeah, Play Point Prize from Championship Series 2020 and a Gem Mint 10. Let's go. Let's go. So, boom. Love that. Yo, these are incredible cards here, guys. Look at the stamps. Oh, Victini. What set could this be? Altered Genesis, maybe? Nah, no, this is like more unified, right? 
one of the sets that make up Unified Minds, maybe. But Victini promo in a 10. Let's go. That's why I need that's why we need the set name and like the set promo uh purchase promo or store purchase promo, like letting us know what campaign it is, you know. But yeah, there we go. Nice Victini. Because like I don't know all the just sets into my head because like obviously I can't read Japanese, so it would help, etc. And yeah, it'd be, it would be cool. Like this one, another early Sun and Moon set, but like, Reggie Giga is a legend. I do want this in a 10. Yes, go. But then again, I do not know which set this is. But one of them sets in 2017. And this is one of the purchase promos for it. So yeah, beautiful card, guys. Like, let me know what you think. I really think this sort of stuff is really undervalued. Like I don't like I said, I haven't seen anyone ever post many of these cards. Maybe one or two people. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, my camera died there, but yo, let's just get back into it. Now we're getting into the GXs. And look at this Taurus. Like, I'm not a mega Taurus fan, but you slap the OG Toys R Us logo on there. Yo, you know I'm grabbing that. 10 min 10. Let's go. Let's go, yo. Some beautiful promos here. Look at these stamp cards. Let me know which ones you like from today's video and which one you looking to purchase. Uh, maybe that you didn't have and didn't see before, but now you see it in this video and you're going to go grab it. But obviously, it's not every single cool promo stamped card, but it's the one I have acquired over time or ones I purchased for this video. It's Ninetales. I actually got it back when it came out. I think this is Ultra Genesis, but we got a Gem Mint 10 there. So let's go, let's go. We're never getting this. We're obviously... I used to, oh bro, don't, don't talk to me about 2019 promos. I used to have so many of the lilies from Dream League, but I used to sell them because you sell that and then your box of Dream League works out half price, if not free. So it was just a money glitch, like three boxes of Dream League at that time. This one I actually got around the same time. This is, was around Dream League Ultra Genesis. This is the, um, it says purchase campaign here, but this is like the illustration contest similar to the um the charizard we've seen in japanese and as well as that greninja barbosa and arcanine promo from last year this is the 2019 god of all one oh no way i got this in the nine <laughs> like this is my only one i had it since 2019 as well i kept this one because it wasn't too expensive i listed them all i remember this one i thought i'll just keep one more for my collection but yeah fortunately my one i had is a nine but yeah i, I remember getting out with these two myself which is pretty nice but y'all let's go let's go this one uh this one a nice one we don't have any black and white today right guys one of the oldest ones today guys this, these are my some of my favorites mint nine so yeah i didn't expect high grades for these xy ones but i thought i'd throw it in there maybe some whitening obviously with ac you can look up the cert and see why it got that grade but the stamp is amazing hooper's appearance campaign so maybe around the hooper movie i believe with the 2015 i guess so yeah i guess it could be around that uh, but yeah, beautiful card, laddie ass there, yo, love that, do we have any more older ones, oh, another XY one, we've got Blaziken here, nine, oh, I remember I purchased this off uh, someone on Facebook actually, and it has a stamp there, so I had to get that graded, but yeah, let's go, let's go, and last pack of magic, oh, another Blaziken, Oh, 10. This one I got off my guy, KB Pokemon. This is like an XY promo got in his dip box. Requires his Mega Battle pack. So it might be one of them gigantic Requires packs. So if we can find out per picture here. But yeah, I thought let's get that graded along with this one. Actually, this came with it. Look. Oh my god. It's the Requires Mega Vault. Oh, Bal Mega Battle Vouch Exchange. And this is the pack. So that's pretty cool. I, I bought these. This one I had ages ago. This one I got recently on um, KB's Whatnot. So. Yo, pretty, pretty sick there. And yo, I do have a lot more stamped promos that I didn't send. Uh, these are mainly, I mainly send the holo ones because I have a lot of non holo ones as well, uh, like these, etc., uh, which I didn't send. So if you like today's video, guys, make sure to let me know. And again, guys, let me know what you've liked from today's video. Like maybe stuff you haven't seen. Like I didn't even see this Taurus until uh, last month in February when I bought some singles to buy. I was like, yo, that Toys R Us stuff. I'm going to grab that. So let me know what cards you do like from today's video. Like I said, you don't have to send expensive cards to build up your collection. You can build your collection however you want. Just buying the stuff you like, you know. And obviously, it can go up in value, especially cheap stuff. The cheap stuff, you can't really lose anything, you know what I mean? Um, like... But a lot some of these cards are even still five to ten pounds to this day for the age they are and stuff like that so it's awesome crazy but yeah if you like what you see today with the ace labels as well guys and obviously your color match labels what's the best color match do you like the lucario one that one was nice but yeah look at that the ace label your color matches 
So if you like what you see, guys, make sure you use the code VIV on Ace Grading for 5% off Ace Grading, guys. It's going to go a long way. And obviously, it supports the channels. It allows me to do returns like this. Like, we're doing big returns every single month. So if you like that, make sure to like and subscribe for more Ace Grading videos. And yeah, and yeah, hopefully we can get some more bangers. We do have a mega awesome one coming next. Another themed video. I try and do these themed videos. And here we've got a mega one for next month. So guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.